Hello everybody, my name is Shoelace, and welcome to my first impressions on Batman from Telltale Games. Now, this game, I just finished the first chapter for the first time, so I'm just going to give you my general thoughts and admission over how this game was. Now, to me, the story in this was pretty good for a Batman story, I have to say. I was quite impressed with where they took it and the elements that they integrated into it, such as the uh, emphasis on detective uh, work rather than just pure action and beating people to a pulp with Batman's fists, which was an interesting take on the character, as well as focusing on Bruce Wayne, which is a persona that you don't usually get to uh, experience in Batman games to a very full extent. So it was nice to actually walk around as Bruce Wayne and watch him work through his own means, such as through his uh, financial gain as well as his connections with many of the higher-ups in Gotham. Now, uh, the uh, game right now is uh, getting pretty smashed in regards to its performance issues that have been happening, which I myself have occasionally run across, as well as thousands of audio glitches where weird situations where uh, guns don't even seem to fire and I just get pure audio tracks of uh, people grunting and uh, talking but no actual atmospheric audio which is really weird to experience for the first time. Here I'll give you a quick sample now. So yeah, it's pretty weird when that kind of thing happens, so just keep that in mind before purchasing this game because it is pretty good, I would recommend buying it just simply for the story, and they are working on fixing all of these issues in the future, so we'll see how that goes. Another common complaint that people have had about this game is its seemingly lack of consequential decisions as opposed to other Telltale games, which I can agree with. It doesn't seem to have a lot of uh, weight to it, except for maybe four or five main consequential uh, points that you can make towards people. But then again, it is only episode one, so we can only wait and see to see if many of these choices that we made actually have consequences, or if they're just filler pieces of dialogue that don't actually make a difference. For example, this is one of the major decisions in the game, but I haven't really noticed much of a difference so far. Either way, I make the decision. So, it you know, it's all, it's all dependent. Regardless, I really like Batman, so, you know, whatever chance I can get to play the Cape Crusader, then I am completely down for it. Uh, that's gonna be enough for this video to avoid spoiling anything major, so please, uh, you know, give me your opinion of what you think of Batman's Telltale series so far, if you liked it or not, and, uh, if you're thinking about buying it, I would... Eh, you know, like, it's it's all dependent. If you're a Batman fan, then it's definitely worth a check out, but if not, then maybe pass, wait for some of these bugs to fix. Anyways, that is enough for this time. I have not been Zool. Have an excellent day.